long term, what we're trying to achieve for the, um, for the amputee uh, soldier and for other amputees as well is a solution that um, provides them with a, a prosthetic device that can be controlled by the nervous system. And so what we're trying to do is implant a prosthetic into the body and then have that prosthetic extrude through the skin and attach to an external prosthetic device, be that a lower leg, be that an arm, um, and then have the body's own nervous system control that device, control the movement of that device, essentially replace the existing limb or the lost limb. We were really happy that the secretary was able to visit us here at the Bioengineering Institute. As an amputee herself, she really epitomizes the, uh, all the people that we're trying to help with our research here and uh, obviously has a, you know, quite significant insight into the challenges that, that amputees have and the challenges that we're going to face as we go forward with our research. Well, most of our amputees are also polytrauma patients. Um, they are not just someone who, you know, um, lost a limb in, in a, an accident, a farming accident or something like that. They're, they're serious polytrauma patients. In addition to all of the physical health problems, they're also trying to just get on with their lives. They're trying to go back to school or they're trying to get a job. Um, they have issues with trying to, to find employment. Um, they went from being incredibly fit, usually you know, the fittest person, the most athletic person in their hometowns, um, to a split second later, they're now, like me, in a wheelchair or are, are severely disabled. It's a pretty tough challenge to, to um, re essentially recapitulate a limb and all of its function. There are so many different disciplines, so many different problems that we have to, to solve in order to do that. We have biologists and chemists working on infection issues. When you implant a device, you need to deal with the potential for infection. We have regenerative biologists helping us with essentially regenerating all of the soft tissue that was lost during the amputation, but needs to be there in order to support the device that we've implanted. Well, I'm, um, you know, I'm definitely energized and, and I hope that you're able to be successful with what you're trying to do, especially in a shorter amount of time because um, this is the critical time in most of these amputees' lives, the first few years after yeah. amputation. Um, you get too many years out and then people develop habits and they just don't want to try and it's, it's harder to recapture them. So it's really important for us to have the opportunity to brief uh, leaders like Secretary Duckworth on the problems that we face and the challenges we face as we go forward with this prosthetics research. You know, this is not easy research. It's not an easy solution. If it was, it would have been done already. Um, and, and so it's important for, for our leaders to understand that and to continue the support. I know uh, amputees that I s recovered with and Walter Reed um, bilateral um, a lower limb amputees who've just given up wearing artificial limbs completely and are in their wheelchair. And when I talk to Vietnam veterans, um, that is pretty standard. Um, ones who should be walking, ones who per have perfectly good um, uh, uh, residual limbs that could be fitted and, and walk, they just don't um, because they've developed out of that lifestyle and they're now very good, very fast, very comfortable with their wheelchairs. So these next couple of years, that we have is our really critical times. And then you have the aging of the population as well. They're, they're relatively young, um, but on the, you know, the older end of the scale are folks like me who um, you know, want this, need this, and uh, we're waiting and you know, we're, we, we're, whatever we can do to help. And most of us have, would volunteer to be test subjects. Um, you know, it's very difficult to predict when a solution might be provided to the amputee soldier or to the amputee civilian. Our hope and our, our plan is that we can have an implanted device um, in clinical studies within five years um, that may not be the fully neurologically controlled device. That's going to take a little bit longer. There's some challenges that we know we have to face. There are challenges that we haven't even identified yet. Um, but the research is underway and um, it's proceeding and um, you know, we're, we're dedicated to seeing it through to the end.